What is going on guys, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be starting up my new series. I'm going to be posting it every Sunday and what I'm going to be doing is taking a news article that is happening around the world somewhere. Right now the main topics like I have for this one, right on my computer, and I'm going to be talking about the topics and the main points and telling you guys my opinions on it and if you guys want to leave your opinions down in the comments, go f go ahead, we can have like a little chat down there. Um, and the link to this article will be down in the description box below if you want to check it out for yourself. And without further ado, let's get started. In airplane news. Uzbekistan Airway is to wait passengers before boarding. Interesting. Let's see why. Uzbekistan National Carrier plans to wait passengers with their carry-on luggage before boarding as a part of a new flight safety measure. I don't really see why a person's weight would be a issue in flying somewhere, but we'll see why Uzbekistan is doing this. The airline said that individual passengers' weights will not be disclosed and, quote, weight results is guaranteed to not be disclosed, end quote. With the weighing machine only categorizing passengers by sex and into adult and child groups. So the machine doesn't know how old you are or anything, it just knows you by male or female and by child or adult. More than 44% of those 20 years or older in Uzbekistan were found to be overweight, while nearly 15% were categorized to be obese. Okay, so now I can see why Uzbekistan is taking this measure to weigh people before flights because almost half of the country or whatever is fat or obese. Now it's making more sense why they're going to do it. Um, I see this only as a problem if, say if an obese person is in the, pat in the middle seat of the three, uh, the person on the left and the right is getting smushed by this person because they're so big they don't fit into the seat. That is one problem. That's one problem I can see, and the second one is being the person being too big where they really don't fit into the seat, which is kind of what I just said. But we'll see the next point where maybe this arises from. Man claimed he was left with back pain from sitting next to an obese passenger on a different airline. So they got this idea from a different airline that had a similar problem with obese people making people uncomfortable as this man had back pain after the flight because he was getting smushed. I, I would assume he would be getting smushed by the person. Uzbekistan Airway is not the first airline to keep an eye on passengers' weights. This is the first time that I'm hearing about it. I never heard of any American airline doing this. But I really don't doubt them doing it in the future because America is becoming more obese and and it's just something that they're going to have to do to keep everybody comfortable unless they make a new um, section in the plane just for obese people, which this airline has done. And I will talk about that later on. But the Passengers do not pay for a seat, but they pay a fixed price per, t per kilogram, which varies according to the length of the flight. So let's say a person is 300 kilos. I don't know how much that is. I'm pretty sure it's like close to 400 pounds, maybe. I don't know. I don't know my kilos, but let's just say in pounds. Let's say somebody's 400 pounds. And that person would have to pay per pound, which means you would pay $400. And it varies also with the flight. So say if you're on a 20-hour flight, I I would assume that it gets like doubled or something, and, or triple, I don't know. They don't mention that in the article. But per, per kilogram, which varies according to the length of flight. So the longer the flight, the heavier you are, the more you're gonna pay in the end. The airline is also introduced a special XL class, which makes sense because they can put the heavier people there to leave everybody else that is normal weight, to say the least, all together. And nobody has to be uncomfortable like the man with the back pain. A special XL class to cater for the larger passengers, creating a wider row and on this aircraft for passengers weighing more than 286 pounds or 130 kilos. So they're making the seats wider and the aisles wider from what I'm guessing from this. Which is good in, in a way because the, the I don't know what to call them, I don't, fat, I don't like fat, I don't like obese either. 
But the heavier the heavier people yeah, that's a good word. The heavier people get their own section now, which well this is only on the Uzbekistan airway. I don't think this is in America yet. Cause I never heard about it, but I think America should definitely soon introduce a XL class so the heavier people can one be more comfortable and make everybody else in the the normal seats comfortable as well. Because if you're if you're four hundred pounds, there's no way you're gonna fit into a well, you could squeeze into a normal airplane seat, but I know they're going to be uncomfortable, and everybody else sitting to the left and right of them are definitely going to be uncomfortable also. So I think Ubekistan is doing a good job on creating the XL class, and I think it's pretty cool that they're charging people tickets by the pound, or by the kilo anyway, in Ubekistan. I think it's pretty cool. I think America should definitely do that. I think the plane would be a lot cheaper, and it also varies on the length of the flight. So if they did that, I think plane tickets would be relatively cheap if we're going somewhere short distance, say, from like Connecticut to Florida, and let's say me weighing 193 pounds, I don't know what that is in kilos, I think it's like 93 kilos or a little bit less than that, like 85 or so, I don't know. I think it would be pretty cheap and a lot more people would probably go flying for that cheaper price maybe, but I think it's a good idea, America should definitely do it. If you guys leave me your comments down in the section, down in the comment section below, I'm sorry I can't talk right now. Um, and we get a little chat about this, what you guys think about this topic. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of the news, if you want to call it that. I'm just going to be doing it every Sunday, bringing you guys a news article. I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode. If you guys did, remember to leave me a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.